Greetings, NDIA and Net Inclusion 2019. I hope you've had a great time the past few days in Charlotte, and thanks to the National Digital Inclusion Alliance for inviting me and my staff to help you close out this year's conference. I'm so thrilled to tell you what I've been working on, and I can't think of a better place than a room full of digital inclusion leaders to share this news. Because the work you do in our communities to connect students and workers and families with the tools and skills they need to move with ease in our increasingly digital world is so important. That's why I'm glad you'll get to hear more from my legislative advisors, Ben Merkel and Hart Clements, in a moment about a new bill I'm introducing in the coming days that touches on so many of the conversations you've had this week and that will help ensure our communities, especially the historically underserved, don't get left behind in our rapidly evolving technology-driven society. The Digital Equity Act was inspired by practitioners and advocates like so many of you and the people back home for whom digital inclusion is vital. Because while I believe we need to continue to invest in bringing broadband to individuals and communities that have been overlooked, and I will continue working in Congress to do so, I also believe we must make sure they have the tools, the skills, and the support they need to fully take advantage of a broadband connection when they have access to one. I was recently visiting the city of Tacoma in my home state of Washington where I took a tour of the public library and some of their amazing digital tools and resources. From a state-of-the-art audio engineering lab and computer skills room down to baby toys that introduced our youngest learners to coding and sequencing with staff available on site to assist and teach and guide. I met local residents during my visit who told me about the importance of having access to those tools and teachers in their community and it helped, how it helped them achieve their personal and professional goals from completing an award-winning student film to finishing a Microsoft certification course that opened up new employment opportunities. And I also heard from community leaders who stressed how much more they could do to promote digital equity in our communities with the proper resources and support. In 2019, we shouldn't be a country of haves and have nots when it comes to using the internet. And Congress should be a partner in helping our states, counties, schools, and more close to the di digital divide that overwhelmingly affects communities of color, pe persons with disabilities, low-income households, and rural communities. So, next week I'll be introducing the Digital Equity Act, which will create two federal grant programs to help promote digital equity in communities across the country. It's the right thing to do for families, and it is the right thing to do for our economy to make sure everyone is reaching their full potential. Thanks to Hart and Ben, who will fill you in on the details of our legislation and what we'll need from you to get it done. And thanks to all of you for all you do to increase digital inclusion in our schools, our homes, our workplaces, and more. I look forward to working with each and every one of you to get this bill passed through Congress and signed into law. Thanks again, NDIA and Net Inclusion. Now take it away, team.